all right guys back for another video this will be a quick one now um i don't know what the problem is but uh on the way home yesterday no noises or anything my transmission just stopped it stopped doing anything it just act like it was in neutral don't know what happened it feels like something popped off we're gonna drop the trans it's pretty easy um we got the wheels off already we're gonna drain the fluid right now, which we uh, popped the speed sensor out right there. 10 millimeter. And then there's a drain plug under here. We're gonna drain the fluid. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure everybody this. Um, right here is the drain plug. We're gonna crack that open, drain it in here. And uh, we'll pop the axles out on each side. We'll put a screwdriver in here, pop that out. And uh, once we get there, we'll be back. So, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys. So now we're going to pop it off the ball joints. Because I don't want to lose my alignment. So there you go, guys. If you don't want to lose your alignment, pop it off the ball joint. And then pop the axles out. Make your life a little easier. You might want to take it off the... Uh, um, fucking tie rod in too but we're gonna see if we can just pop it out with the yeah, uh, ball joint off alright so I'll be back after I get this nut off here and pop it off the ball joint just a little hint for you guys the proper way to get your tie rod in off of your knuckle is to hit the knuckle itself that's why there's this dent here you know that's pretty and free and force you just smack it a couple times and the ball tie rod will come out. I need new tie, inner tie rods, but whatever. So yeah, I'm going to finish getting this off. We got the ball joint out of there. It should come up and out. If not, we'll stick a pry bar in that hole right there and push down the, the A-arm and get it out of there. The polyurethanes will probably be tough, so we'll probably have to go with that. So, see you guys in just a minute. Alright, so we got the uh, fucking pry bar we stuck in there. She stepped on it picked it up and it came off right off the ball joint perfectly so we got it out of the way now we can pop the axle out and we won't have to uh, lose our alignment we can just put it all back together I guess I should remove this nut and just remove the axle completely um, instead of just sliding it out of the way like I normally do let me take the other side off the ball joint first so we we'll finally put both the axles out and out of the way now we're going to take the bell housing bolts out after we pop these shipper cables off with the shipper cable um, with a pry bar. Stick it on right to there. Okay, was put your bushings over here so you don't lose them. Pop the shipper cable clips off right here and here. Um, you can use the pry bar to do that also. I just twist it sideways and it pops out of here. You can also use the needle nose pliers to get them out. Probably would have been easier. There's one. There's two. Get your other one off the ground. Pick them up. Move them out of the way. Up over, take your clutch cable off, pull it out, it'll pull right out. Move it out of the way. Um, you want to disconnect the starter, take the two bolts out. There's one there, there's one right behind that hose. Move your starter out of the way. Um, and then you disconnect the bell housing bolt and move her out. If you have a bottle strut, you want to take the bottle strut off. And we're going to take this front mount off. 
after we get the bell housing bolts out we'll take this motor mount out and drop it on the ground and see what the fuck's wrong with it and we'll be back after we're done all that guys we got the trains out and um this doesn't look very good to me um this piece right here i don't believe it's supposed to be there i think it's supposed to be attached in these holes uh, i think something went wrong catastrophic so we're gonna pop these bolts off of here and uh see what the fuck is wrong let's we'll see you guys in just a minute guys okay, so we got the clutch off um i think this is our issue these uh little spot welds are supposed to be i guess connected to here uh supposed to be something like that but it's not like that anymore um that's kind of shitty if you ask me, just something like that, but um, so now we gotta find a new clutch disc or put a stock clutch on there for now, honestly. So I guess now we're gonna remove those bolts going around two, four, six, eight bolts, move those off. Um, Put a stock clutch on here so we can go to work tomorrow. Not too bad. Sucks I lost a uh, clutch, a good clutch. I don't know how much pad I still have left. Whatever. Right, what's up, guys? Um, so we got us a stock clutch, um, pretty little model one with a stock flywheel. We're going to remove this aftermarket clutch until we can find a disc to put in there. Shouldn't be too hard to find a disc. It's pretty crazy how these little pins just sheared the fuck off. It's just wild to me. Like, this little pin right here broke off from this. And that's why I lost all transmission. At least it wasn't my good RT trans. That would have made me kind of upset. I really didn't want to lose that trans. So what we're going to do is stick this stock clutch on there. The Stark flywheel. At first, we got to do this aftermarket lightweight flywheel. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna impact it off here. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna have Brad help us by holding the cr other side on the crank uh, with a wrench, a 19 millimeter wrench, while I bust them all loose. But hopefully, the impact will just crack them all loose. So I don't know if y'all seen me remove a clutch before, but it's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Take all these bolts out. Alright, now we got those bolts out of there. We're going to try to remove the flywheel. Um, it should just pop right off. Let's get a hammer and tap it. We're going to use a rubber mallet. Oh, all right, flywheel's off. Now we're on our stock clutch, or I mean our stock flywheel up with it. Get this thing back together. That's such a shame though, that we gotta change this awesome clutch out. I've never seen a break off like that. Had a lot of neons too. And it's obviously been doing it for a while. It's not something that has happened overnight. Whatever. Move this uh, 
clutch and flywheel out of the way. I'm gonna stick the stock flywheel on real quick. Try to line it up and we'll so figure out which way it goes on the first of all. It's always the hardest part for me to figure out which side goes on which. Really, the hardest part is lining them up. See, I wish I had a new rear main seal to stick in here while I had this off because it kind of looks like it's seeping a little bit. Alright right, guys, um, before you stick the flywheel bolts back in the flywheel and the bolts back in the clutch, you're going to want to make sure you dab them up with some uh, red high strength Loctite. You don't want your flywheel shooting through your hood, so we're going to dab each bolt with a little bit of Loctite. They use blue, it doesn't really matter, I'm going to use red. Just use some Loctite on them, so I'll see you when I'm done. Alright bros, we got the new, uh, well the stock clutch on there, we got that piece of shit clutch over here, um, all the old bolts, we got Loctite on, now it's time to throw the, uh, the trans back up in there, uh, we'll just thank God real quick that the fucking RT trans didn't go out, I was really fucking worried that I had to buy a new transmission, and luckily my trans is fine, so... Gonna move this shit out of the way. Move my clutch cable out of the way. And then me and Brad are gonna try to lift that trans up in here. I'm gonna try to do this the easiest way possible. So, um, too bad we can't give you guys like a point of view of us doing it because it takes two people to do it. I've done it before by myself, but not anymore. Not with my broken back. So, um, yeah, let's get this trans up in here. And uh, get this fucking thing back together so we can go take it for a test drive and fucking not have to worry about that shit. So I bet you that skipping I was having was this clutch going bad. So I'll see you guys. Guys, it's working. We're moving. We're driving. Transmission works again. Woo! Makes me so happy. That's so cool, guys. We got the tranny working again. Put a stock clutch in here. The pedal does feel a little gay, but I'm just used to a stiff clutch. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed that video, remember to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Until the next time, I want you to subscribe for more. Help me hit a 1,000 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Remember, daily uploads. Peace out.